Greetings. I'm Simon Wong, and I'm the Vice President of the Synod. And I'm Jeff Johnson, and I've been the bishop among you since my election last fall. I want to thank you for gathering throughout the Synod today in conference assemblies. We are speaking with you from our new Synod office here in the space shared with our ministry partners at Pacific Lutheran Theological Seminary. It is just one of many things that we have changed as we strengthen the way we accompany one another in our Synod, moving forward together. Thank you for your patience in all things. Recently, you may have writ read that I wrote about a trip my husband Pepe and I took up the coast of Highway 1 to the small town of Gualala to worship with the good people of the Episcopal Lutheran Mission Shepherd by the Sea. At the beginning of a marvelous liturgy, liturgy to dedicate a new sanctuary in a beautifully renovated office space, their choir sang the anthem, Come Build a Church by Ken Medema. Come build a church with spirit and soul. Come build a church of flesh and bone. We need no tower rising skyward, no house of wood or glass or stone. Think about these lyrics as an invitation to, to discover our church, not in buildings or property, but in one another, in our love for one another, and in our love for our neighbors around us. Think about how these words invite us to redouble our efforts to invest in one another and to make disciples in Jesus Christ. Come build a church with human frailty. Come build a church of flesh and blood. Jesus shall be its sure foundation. It shall be built by the hand of God. In a couple of months, we will gather in Fresno for our Senate Assembly. Special thanks to Pastor Charlene Lines and her team who have been working hard and planned this event. Claiming our hope is our theme, and it's based on the text in Romans 12:12: 12, 12, Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. This is the reason why I encourage everyone to continue to pray throughout this couple of months, not only to our assembly, but also to ourselves by listening to God's invitation. Consider how you can support the Synod. At the assembly this year, we will elect more than half the seats of our Synod Council. We need you. We need you who are willing to serve, have expertise in areas such as finance, event planning, and many, many more. As we all come from a different areas, backgrounds, and experience, we really need you who can work together patiently even when we are in disagreement and be able to prioritize work that benefit the entire Synod. Remember, together in one spirit is better. Thank you for letting us join you in your conference assembly meeting today. We would like to thank our deans and the volunteers who worked hard to put these gatherings on. Simon will be meeting with the Sierra Valley, the Sierra Central Valley Conference, and I'll be meeting with the El Camino Conference. Afterwards, I'll travel to San Mateo to join in the ordination of Rachel San Diego. And I would like to invite you to pray for Rachel as she joins the community of rostered leaders today through the ancient ritual of the laying on of hands. When Pepe and I were at Shepherd by the Sea in Gualala, the liturgy included these words of blessing. I would like to end with these words for you. May this blessing be true for all of us. Sojourning people of God, come home. From this community, may you reach out in love and generosity. Welcome all, care for the well-being of those in your midst, and be bold bold in the Spirit's new possibilities for the sake of the gospel. May God bless you as you gather today. And may God bless all of us on the road together as the Sierra Pacific Synod. Bye-bye. See you soon.